What's up, everybody? Ben Rez here for Odd Chopper. I am back. It's Tuesday, November 28th in the sports world. Take a little break from football. Championship college football will be here. The NFL's got a couple days break. College basketball, Champions League, plenty of sports to bet on today. That means we're going to find one. We're going to put it on our board for our favorite bet of the day. Set the tone. Hopefully cap what's going to be a good week here at Odd Chopper. I want to welcome you to Odd Chopper, whether you're here every day. Join us for the first time. Like, subscribe, be part of the community. Yesterday, the Bears in one of the ugliest games of all time. But we get the win. Uh, feel good about that. We didn't take the money line. That would have been even sweeter. But you know what? No complaints when you're cashing a ticket. We moved to 1-0 on the week. That's what we want. Now let's make it 2-0. Uh, I've got a game here in the college basketball streets. A little difficult, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but we're going to be just fine looking at this. And before I get into the pick, I do want to mention Bet365, our friends there, doing some things, giving out money. 150 in bonus bets if you're in the following state. You ready? Here we go. New Jersey, Ohio, Virginia, Iowa, Colorado, and Kentucky, and now Louisiana. Welcome to the party. If you're in Louisiana, it's 1 into 365. If you're in those others, it's 5 into 150. No questions asked. You put that bet in. Whether it wins or loses, you are getting money. The link is below. Take advantage of it. No reason not to have extra money in your bankroll. Got to be 21 plus 18 in Kentucky. If you have a gambling problem, call 100 Gambler. Get to the board. Let's get to this game. Competitive spread, one point spread. Certainly, uh, two evenly matched teams, and I get it. Give me Ole Miss. Uh, I would just give me minus one fifteen, considering I can just get that for five more cents to win this game. So it's early season college basketball. Uh, certain teams are not what they seem. Other teams are playing better than maybe they should be. So there's a lot to decipher. We don't know exactly what these teams are and what they will be, but here's what we got. We got an NC State team that's definitely pretty good. I've seen them play. They're four and one, uh, lost to BYU. Want to play fast. They want to score. They would be happy to get the game into the 90s if they could. That's not going to happen. Better not happen. That would not be good for us. They definitely want to go, go, go. Beat Vanderbilt, beat up on some bad teams. Uh, first true road test, four double figure scores, burns on the inside. Got some shooters, no doubt about it. Probably the better shooting team. I think NC State's the more defined team. And what I mean by that is I kind of feel like they have a pretty crisp identity already in the season. Kind of know what they are. They're going to have to make some shots. I don't think they're the most prolific rebounding team I've ever seen. They don't play a gimmicky style. Solid squad. Obviously, this is part of the ACC or SEC challenge. One of the challenges. Uh, they got all sorts of challenges. And this is one of the good matchups today. Ole Miss. Now it gets serious. 5-0. and oh. But man, 5-0 in record, not 5-0 in, in domination. One point win over Detroit. Three point win over Sam Houston. One point win over Temple. They are living dangerously. I cannot spin that, but I will say they're winning the games. And at the same time, you can't be struggling with those opponents. I think they have not played that well. It's been one thing after another for this team. They're out rebounding a couple games. They had some poor three-point shooting games. They are full of talent. Chris Beard at the helm slow tempo outside the three top 300 in tempo. And I don't think that's going to change aggressive defense, actually pretty efficient offensively when they play to their style. And I think they can do that here. The other thing about this team, and it's true of a lot of teams, NC state's not totally different, but I think it's more important for old miss. This is a transfer heavy team. It's going to take some time. They're getting better with each game. Flanagan is their leader. He is from Auburn. They brought in the St. Peter's transfer and Murray. He's contributed a ton. They've got the seven foot five guy from Western Kentucky in Sharp. These are pieces of this rotation. They have paired them with the returning production from last year, and it has formed what I think is actually a really good nucleus. I just haven't seen it all the time just yet. I'm not saying we're going to get full 40 minutes tonight, but at home, this is a good team. They have talent to deal with what NC State can do. And the only team that I thought really could do that was BYU, and we saw that. A different type of talent for BYU in terms of they're happy to play up and down. I look at this game, I think that they will force NC State to play in a really grinded out, more methodical style. I hope this goes under the total. I think that helps Old Miss. At minus 115, you're telling me it's a pseudo coin flip. I'm going to side with the Rebels at home here. I think, you know, anytime you go on the road in college basketball, I don't care where you're playing. It's never easy. This team has talent. I think Flanagan can be the best player on the floor. Make some timely shots. Nothing extreme from three. We're not going to deal with a six for 25. That just can't happen. Uh, but if we get a normal output, I'm going to call on Ole Miss to win this game. And they are on the board at minus 115. Put it on the board. My bet of the day. Now, before I leave you, I do, of course, I brought this up before. This Odd Chopper's odd screen. It's not the only thing we got going on. If you want to be part of Odd Chopper, 
You're getting not just these tools. Yes, these are amazing. Update in real time, all sorts of plus EV betting. But you're also getting the Discord now. You are also getting, we put the picks right into the platform. Uh, when you see these depopulate right there, when we have some picks in addition to these, in addition to the optimizers, in addition to the parlay builder, it is so much going on right now for Odd Chopper. Link is below. Sign up. Even if you come in for the week, come in for the month, see what we're about. See if this changes your ROI because that's what it's about, improving your process and finding something that works for you. I really believe this can work for you. I think it has something for everyone. We want you to find out for yourself. So link is below. But let's put this win on the board and move to 2-0 and this week for me, for Ole Miss, for all of you guys. Thanks again for tuning in. Appreciate all the support. Hit that like button on the way out. Let me know if you have any questions at Jazz Raz DFS. Until next time, good luck and joy. Talk to you soon.